Hello, I'm the awesome tutor, and today we're going to be looking at TMCs, transnational companies. But before we start um, looking at uh, potential analysis or maybe trying to answer some common questions about TMCs, let's take a look at this specification to see exactly what you need to know. Okay, so as you can see here, it's basically just reasons why companies become TNCs and advantages and disadvantages of becoming a TNC. But if you ask me, they're pretty much the same thing. So if you have essay questions, sometimes they're going to ask you on advantages and limitations, sometimes they're going to ask you on reasons, but you're pretty much going to use the same points. But just be careful about your wording. Make your wording fit the question, okay? So what is the definition of a TNC? It is a firm with significant operations in more than one country. So it produces and sells its products internationally. Okay, so let's look at the reasons why companies become TNCs, which is also pretty much the same as the advantages of being a TNC. Because why do you want to become a TNC? To benefit from the advantages. So. Economies of scale is a very good one in these businessy type essays because they don't usually, in the businessy type essays like TNCs, you don't usually draw diagrams of these essays. And that kind of brings down the quality of your answer. So always try and include diagrams. Economies of scale is a good one for TNCs because if you become an international company, you have access to more markets abroad, so there's scope for more production more production, so output increases significantly. So as you produce towards a minimum efficient scale, your average costs go down as output increases. Okay, what does that mean? That means more profit. What are the benefits of profit? Dynamic efficiency, reinvest, more value for shareholders, etc. But you always have to be cautious because what's the common evaluation of economies of scale? This economies of scale. Okay, you become too large, too quick, you cannot manage it. There's communication problems, administrative problems, inefficiency within the business, and your average cost starts to rise. Okay, so you shouldn't become a TNC unless you're ready. Okay, um, the application point that I like to use for, for economies of scale is Coca Cola for TNCs because obviously it's such a large company with so many production. Uh, and operations all around the world and it has such a low average cost you can tell that it's benefiting from economies of scale because its low average cost is clearly ref reflected in its affordable prices yeah so how can economies of scale arise uh, mostly uh, with TNCs it's purchasing economies of scale bulk buying or maybe even risk bearing economies of scale because you're no longer reliant on one sole domestic market. You can spread your risks um, internationally. Okay? Now, economies of scale is also another thing, remember? It's a barrier to entry. So, what's another potential advantage of becoming a TNC? You end up with monopoly power. Now, you might not have time in an essay to draw a monopoly diagram, uh, an essay about TNCs to draw a monopoly diagram and and go into the analysis of it. But it's good to at least mention the point of monopoly power. Okay, so because economies of scale acts as a barrier to entry, you have monopoly power, difficult for small scale firms, especially ones that are only domestic, to compete with the cost efficiency of you as a TNC, because you're benefiting from economies of scale, and most probably the small scale domestic firms are not experiencing economies of scale to the extent that you are. So with monopoly power, you can restrict supply, increase prices, gain market share, make supernormal profits, blah, 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 blah. But you're not always going to benefit from monopoly power simply from becoming a TNC. Okay? Becoming a TNC does not necessarily mean you gain monopoly power. It depends. Okay? You're probably going to need more than one barrier to entry. Maybe patents, that's one. And you're also going to need to significantly benefit from economies of scale in order to gain significant monopoly power. Alright, so it depends. Now, this point you most definitely have to mention in a TNC essay 
you can outsource production to cheaper labor cost economies. Just like how Apple is doing that by outsourcing its production to Foxconn in China. So Foxconn in China produces Apple's technology, its iPhones, its uh, Macs, whatever. And because China, you see, has lower wages. And so Apple can benefit from those lower wages by outsourcing its production to China. And what that does is it lowers its cost of production. So less costs, more profit, blah, blah, blah. But now, first of all, let me talk about reasons why come to become TNCs and advantages of becoming a TNC or advantages of being a TNC. They're not the same as me. Yes, they'll have very similar points but they're not the same essay. You have to be very careful with your wording if a question comes up on reasons. You don't want to be talking, you don't want to be using the wording of saying one advantage of a TNC is this, or this is very advantageous to a TNC, etc. You want to be make, you want to be manipulating your wording in the essay to make sure that it sounds, it at least sounds like you're answering the question. So one reason why TNCs why companies choose to become TNCs is to benefit from this. Or one reason why they may not become TNCs, relating it back to this point, is because one of their objectives is corporate social responsibility. Ethics. They want to keep an ethical standard. And they, may, and they do not want to exploit um, lower wages and cheap labor cost economies especially because of backlash, like the Nike sweatshop scandal in the 1990s, which affected its sales to the point where it actually had to start conducting internal investigations. So if we're going to talk about it in terms of reasons, they may not want to become TNCs because of um, different objectives or because they do not want to experience this type of backlash. Or if it's an advantages essay, Here's an advantage, here's a disadvantage, the backlash. Just make, sure you're, just make sure you're careful with your wording, okay? Now here's where things get good. If you want your essay to stand out, try talking about more technical points, like tax avoidance and specifically transfer pricing. So one of the benefits or one of the reasons why countries or why companies become TNCs is because they can benefit from tax avoidance because international law it's vague and it's very hard to enforce and so it's much easier for international companies to skirt around the law especially especially with taxes um, than you know small-scale domestic companies so transfer pricing here we have the UK with 19% corporation tax last time I checked and Ireland with 12.5% corporation tax. So, transfer pricing involves the TNC incurring the majority of its costs in higher tax countries and then making the majority of its profits in lower tax countries. So it has operations both in the UK here and in Ireland. Okay, UK here has a much higher tax rate, so the firm doesn't want to make too much of a profit here, otherwise they're going to get taxed a lot. So they incur instead the majority of their costs. So they might even make a loss here, deliberately, to avoid the higher corporation tax. And then what they do is they sell the products they make here, to their operations in the lower tax country, but they set an artificially lower price. Okay? And here's where they make the majority of their profits with lower corporation tax. So it's lower tax, meaning they can raise the price and make more profits here because less of it is going to get taxed than if they sold here. So here they sell. And this pen is running out of ink. Here they, they sell at the the normal or maybe the market price. Okay. 
So what that does basically it minimizes its costs arising from tax and it maximizes its profits. Okay, um, I like talking about Amazon in these types of essays because I think in 2018 it made 11.2 billion dollars in profits but it paid zero dollars in federal tax and it got a lot of backlash for this but it's not going to affect the company that much i mean it's amazon that you can use that as an evaluation point if it's a big company a big monopoly with lots of market power and lots of customers and consumers minor backlash is not going to affect its sales that much so back to the taxing now amazon i don't think it used transfer pricing it may have but um, the reasons why it was able to pay zero dollars federal tax are much more complicated i'm not going to go into them now because then i'll be wasting time but you can go search it up but you can use amazon as an example of of tnc's exploiting the advantage of tax avoidance let's move on to the next point all right more stuff on tax avoidance but a different kind of tax avoidance and you can benefit from this especially if you are an exporting firm if you deal in exports you can exploit lower trade barriers specifically in trading blocks like the european union customs union okay EU customs union many tnc has set up operations in ireland because of its relatively lower corporation tax rates compared to other eu countries in the uk um, so by setting up operations here, they immediately gain access to the EU, the European market and the UK market. Remember customs union, countries within the customs union, there's no tax on imports for countries within that customs union. So Ireland can export to the UK and it does not incur taxes on its exports. So the UK does not put tariffs up. You can't have tariffs in a customs union. Okay? If you don't understand anything I'm saying, go learn stuff about tariffs and customs unions. Okay? Because that, that is in the, in the macro specification. So, you set up operations in Ireland, they sell to the EU customs union access to trading blocks and lower trade barriers. But, this process will obviously be disrupted uh, because of Brexit. You know, you know that the the political disaster that is Brexit. So you could even use that as an, you can use that as an evaluation point. Because of Brexit, countries companies may be deterred from becoming TNCs at the moment if they want to exploit lower trade barriers. They may want to ride this out a bit see what happens if brexit is ever finished see what happens and then they may decide to come tnc's because with brexit there's so much uncertainty okay so again lower trade barriers no taxes on your exports so that means that minimize your costs maximize your profits one other thing you need to do in these essays Okay, so remember in this exam, it's a 20 marker. You have to reach a conclusion. If you want to get high marks, you have to reach a conclusion. You have to have, an, a, a lo the last paragraph of your essay has to be a conclusion. You have to make evaluation points and sum up your arguments, okay? So what I like to do in my conclusions is I like to use generic evaluation points. Um, this is a good one. If you're talking about a reasons essay for TNCs, different firms have different reasons for becoming TNCs, so it depends on their objectives. If you're talking about an advantages essay, then just change the wording. Uh, different firms will benefit um, from different advantages whilst they are TNCs. Depends on the kind of employees they have, the kind of direction they're taking, etc. You also need to say your main reason, if it's a reasons essay, or if, it, if, it's, if it's an advantages essay, you can say the main advantage of being a TNC is, 
Because that's, that's a good generic evaluation to have in a conclusion. I would say it's economies of scale, but you can make your own judgment. But if you're going to make that judgment, always have at least a brief justification of why that is your main reason or main advantage. Okay? And with all the points I mentioned, obviously there's too many points. You can't talk about all of them in an essay. So pick and choose, be judicious. That's it. This has been the awesome tutor. Bye.